Windmill Software presents Clarity Project List Page Power Filter. Hello, this is Jim Wall with Windmill Software, and today we're going to go through the project uh, list page and configure the power filter. So go, we're going to go ahead and expand the filter, and here we have a lot of uh, default uh, filtering attributes, and we can filter by organizational breakdown. Let's go ahead and do that for development. And if you have multiple OBSs, such as uh, perhaps an OBS by location or an OBS by department, you want to make sure the proper OBS is selected here. We'll go ahead and select development and we'll go ahead and filter. And this brings us a list of all the projects that are in the department OBS. And we can also add uh, additional filtering and we're using the IT structure for the uh, four stages. We're going to pick initiation and now we're going to hit filter and we're going to get a combination of both of the filtering attributes that we're using. So we have a list of all projects that are in a development organization with the stage of initiation. But what if we wanted to bring in all the projects that were in development and all projects that had the stage initiation regardless of what organization they were in. So instead of an AND, we're going to use an OR. Uh, for that kind of functionality, we need to use the power filter. So in the power filter, we're going to talk about SQL scripting, uh, ANDs and ORs. So it helps to have a scripting background. You don't have to though. Uh, the system allows you to build the expression which is what we're going to do right here. So we're going to go ahead and begin by pulling the OBS off of the project object. So the object is project, the field, and you can just click on the uh, letter to take you down the list quicker. The field is OBS unit. Your operator is going to, uh, the functionality you have on the operator is going to depend on the field, the attribute that you're using. So this particular one, uh, we have equal or not equal to. And I'm going to go ahead and browse and select development. You can see I can select multiple if I wanted to. Uh, even though that's the uh, bottom branch of the OBS, I still select unit and descendants out of habit. And I'm going to go ahead and click add. So this builds our expression here. So the first part of our expression is all projects that belong in the development uh, organization. And now you see this uh, and or wasn't available for the uh, first part of the expression, but now it is. So the second part of the expression, we're going to do an or. The object is project. And here we're going to select the attribute stage. And here's stage. And under IT, I'm going to pick an initiation. And I'm going to click Add. And I'm going to add one more here. So my object is project. And I'm going to include planned cost. And since this is a number, you see my um, functions here. Uh, what's the options that are available to me is a, is a little bit different than it was with the browse lookup. So here I'm going to have the operator of greater than and put in a number of a hundred thousand. And actually that's going to be an and. And I'm going to go ahead and add that. And I'm going to go ahead and save and return. Now the power filter is used in conjunction with the other attributes. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this and remove this and go ahead and filter. So now I'm just filtering purely by what I have set up in the power filter. And this is my results. I get all the projects in the development OBS. I also get projects outside of the OBS as long as they are in the stage initiation and have a planned cost of over a hundred thousand. And as you see in the results list, that's what we see here. I can go ahead and filter. So I'm going to click on plan cost. 
And so you noticed in the uh, power filter, I set only showing the plan cost for a over a hundred thousand, but that was for the uh, projects that had a stage of initiation uh, that were outside that development OBS. Because the development OBS, I'm bringing in all projects. So you see here, I have three of them with zero plan cost. Uh, but for the other part of that expression, it's only bringing in the projects that have a plan cost of over a hundred thousand. So not everybody uh, needs to use the power filter. For a lot of people, the filtering criteria here where you can uh, use wildcards and a project name to search for projects or to assign project manager or the OBS. Uh, for a lot of people, that's all they need. Uh, but you, now you know the, the limitations uh, with, with filtering this way and the capabilities that the power filter gives you. And if those capabilities are useful, then by all means, uh, set up that power filter and you don't have to come in here and set it up every single time. Uh, once you set it up, you can go ahead and save it. So I'm just going to put in dev and initiation. I won't make it to default. I'll hit save and return. And now that it's saved, it's available. And I accidentally spelled dev, D-E-N, but I can go ahead and rename that later. Uh, now that filter is available for me, uh, right in this pull down. And that's how you set up the power filter. Let's go ahead and fix that typo. So in your filter pull down menu there is a selection called manage filters and this is where you can rename the filters that you created. So let's go ahead and correct the typo here. Uh, this is where you can delete filters you've created and also you can select uh, which filter you want to be your default uh, right when you log into the system and open up the project list page. So now that's been corrected, let's hit save and return. And now we're all set. About Windmill. Windmill software provides the services you need to effectively utilize CA Clarity to improve project, portfolio, financial, and resource management for your organization. They are preferred services partner and advanced channel partner of CA Technologies. Over 650 Clarity Professional Services implementations since 2004. For more information, contact the Windmill Account Manager at inquiry at windmill.com or 1-888-711-6455.